Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is, it's a good one, will Kevin Durant regret turning down Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers? So that's the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, be sure to check out our Dreamers Pro premium community we're launching this week and also be on the lookout for dreamerspro.com which is coming at the end of this month our website which we've been uh, which we've been working on so uh, which we're pretty pretty excited to launch uh, um uh, publish so anyway let me get into the topic here because i think it's a pretty interesting uh topic we're releasing another video on the channel today kind of around this same um um subject area so if you guys see it, it, it again it, it all depends when you guys see this uh, see this video and see that video so just stick around on the channel today or just subscribe so you make sure you don't miss out on on either of them anyway let me get into this video right here. So y'all remember, after Kawhi Leonard won his title with the Toronto Raptors, he had the most leverage of any basketball player that I've seen in probably the last 10 years. Probably you got to go all the way back to when LeBron James was a free agent. Not the last time, but the time before, because LeBron was a little bit older the last time he was a free agent. I'm talking about when he was a free agent, when he decided to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers to, and make a decision to go play in Miami. That's how much leverage... Kawhi Leonard had. The only difference is Kawhi had more. Why? Because Kawhi had actually won an NBA title and a Finals MVP. LeBron wasn't coming off of a Finals MVP. He was coming off of an, uh, a, a loss in the playoffs. So Kawhi Leonard probably had the most leverage we've seen in the NBA probably in the last 20 years, right? Um, he had won the title for an organization that had never even sniffed an NBA title before. Won that title, won that title, and now had to made it make a decision on where he wanted to go play. And he had all of the chips basically <laughs> on his side of the table. And Kawhi Leonard was playing hardball, right? He was playing hardball, but he had a decision to make. And his decision came down to three candidates. Number one, it was the Lakers, not in any particular order, obviously. We had the Lakers, we had the Clippers, and we had the Toronto Raptors. He either had the decision to go back. And play with the organization that he just won a title uh, title with, although uh, most people said that he wanted to really get back to L.A. Because that's where the guy's from. The guy's from California, so he wants to go back to L.A. So a lot of people felt like he, he his decision was skewing towards either the Lakers or the Clippers because he wanted to go back home. That was the whole thing. And uh, in one of the podcasts that I heard on the J.J. Reddick podcast, when uh, he was interviewing Fred Van Vliet, Fred Van Vliet said in that podcast, listen... When we got there, we could tell that this guy really didn't want to be here in the beginning, right? The guy wanted to be where he wanted to be, which is in California, which is his prerogative, uh, to be quite honest. If you want to be where you want to be, that's your prerogative. So he wanted to go back there. So we all knew that Kawhi Leonard was kind of aiming to go back to California and go play for either the L.A. teams. We just didn't know which team uh, he wanted to go play with. In the end, it looked like all along he wanted to go play with the Clippers because that's the team he ultimately signed with. But he had some stipulations. Kawhi wasn't really willing to go play with the Clippers by himself because the league had changed by that time. He did it last the year prior, winning that title with the Toronto Raptors with Pascal Siakam, who was not an all-star and who was still developing. He had just won the most improved play of the year award. And Kyle Lowry, who was a veteran all-star. He'd been an all-star, but he wasn't like a Kyrie Irving type level of a, a, an all-star as far as scoring that. But he was different in a different, better decision maker, a very, very competitive, and uh, probably going to be a Hall of Famer if he keeps playing the way he's playing. So, he won a title with that, but he wanted, I guess, a big name player to go compete in the West because the West is no joke, right? And you need another top dog to go compete with you out there. So interestingly enough, Kawhi tried to recruit three specific players. The first player he tried to recruit was who? Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant at the time, who had just come off an Achilles tear rupture in the NBA Finals playing against who? The Toronto Raptors and Kawhi Leonard. So he recruited Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant turned down his offer and said, listen, I'm going to go play with the Brooklyn Nets and Kyrie Irving, my best friend. Fine. Then he went after Jimmy Butler and Jimmy Butler said, hey, man, I'm on my way to Miami. That's the organization he wanted to go play with. So Jimmy Butler turned him down. And at the very end, he was left with Paul George, who was already under contract because remember, KD was a free agent at the time. So he decided that... Um, uh, he decided that he wanted to. He decided that in order for him to play with Paul George, Paul George needs to break his contract with the Oklahoma City Thunder, which he did, and he got Paul George ultimately. Although Kevin Durant was his first choice, and Kevin Durant had an option to go play with Kawhi Leonard, but he told Kawhi Leonard no. He wants to go play with Kyrie, and I think that will be a very, very, very big mistake. And, and Kawhi Leonard ended up with PG. Now, although things didn't work out with Paul George. And Kawhi Leonard, 
I mean, the first year, meaning they didn't win, they didn't, uh, they, 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 uh, they didn't win their title. But so far, things aren't looking very good for Kevin Durant and and the Brooklyn Nets. If, let me tell you guys the record of the Brooklyn Nets right now. Currently, they have a five and six record, in the, and they're the number ten seed in the Eastern Conference. Who would have predicted that at this point, after eleven games played, that the Brooklyn Nets would have a five and six record? Kyrie Irving is not even showing up to games now. If we look at Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant is a uh, all I mean an all time great, probably top fifteen at this point in his career. He's a two time NBA champion, two time Finals MVP, regular season MVP winner, ten time All Star, two time game, two time All Star game MVP. Been on nine All NBA teams, been a four time scoring champion, been a part of the 50 40 90 club, shooting 50% from the field, 40% uh, uh, from the three, and 90% from the 90% uh, from the from, from the uh, from the free throw line. This year, KD is putting up 29.3 points per game, 7.6 rebounds, 4.7 assists. If we delve a little deeper, he's shooting 51 almost 52% from the field, 42.5% from the three, uh, and he's getting you one steal a game and almost one block a game. That's Kevin Durant, like. Let's not even front. Kevin Durant is out of this world. And that's why when people make the argument that Kevin Durant is the best player in the world, I never really argue because it's going to be kind of hard to argue against these, these type of numbers. I think, in my opinion, the top three players in basketball are Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant. Now, whoever you decide to pick comes down to preference, right? If you pick Kawhi, I understand it. If you pick LeBron, I understand it. And if you pick KD... It makes total sense to me, so I'm not even gonna dispute that. If that's who you believe is the best player in the world, no problem. You have a fa you have a fantastic um you, you have a fantastic argument to make. Now let's go back to the Brooklyn Nets. KD decided to turn down the Clippers and Kawhi Leonard to go play with Kyrie, right? And Kyrie Irving, I think, has decided not to play even the last three games. Kyrie Irving didn't even show up. I think he texted his teammates, told him that he wasn't going to be there. Didn't even let the coaching staff know or management know he wasn't going to be there. That's Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving does not seem to be a very mature guy. So far, I don't know Kyrie Irving. I'm just looking at the things that are transpiring, right? If we were all working in a company, all of us, and you had one guy like that that was behaving like that, you would say that this guy, either he's a diva or he's not very mature, right? You let you don't let your teammates know that you're coming to, you're not coming to work but then you don't tell management i mean how does that work right but that's what's happening and 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 instead kevin durant decided to turn down in Kawhi leonard championship experience he turned that down he turned down a high basketball iq a winning basketball iq which Kawhi leonard does have he led a team to a title Pretty much as being the man, Kyrie, uh, Kyrie Irving never did that. Kawhi Leonard was the man in Toronto. His playing style, him and Kawhi Leonard's playing styles would match perfectly because the two of them are now ball dom dominant and they're very efficient shooters, catch, catch, uh, um, catch jump shooters. So they would not dominate the ball. Their games would per work perfectly, kind of similarly to the way that it's working with uh, Paul George. The only difference is Paul George is a better defensive player. Than Kevin Durant, so that's a trade about KD is a much more, much more efficient offensive player, and ultimately maturity. Kawhi Leonard is a more mature basketball player person, it seems like, than than, than Kyrie. It's just that simple, right? It's just that simple. And these are the trade offs that KD was willing to make. And now, I think he's gonna he's gonna regret turning down Kawhi Leonard. You don't turn down a Kawhi Leonard, not a basketball player that that's that smart, and you decide to turn him down for Kyrie Irving. And now you're seeing. What's transpiring with the Brooklyn Nets? There's no way in hell that if KD decided to play with Ka Kawhi Leonard and he was healthy, there's no way in hell K a KD and Kawhi Leonard team will start any NBA season with a 5-6 and six record. I, I can book it that that would never, ever happen, but that's what's happening with the Brooklyn Nets. So what I want to know from you guys is do you think that Kevin Durant will regret turning down Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers in the future or do you think it's no big deal and you think you won't regret it and everything will work out with the Brooklyn Nets whatever you guys think please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below again if you enjoyed the video please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content again if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out the next video that we have linked coming up at, um, coming up after this video once again this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys in the next episode peace